I wanted to film a really quick video talking about this little thing that I found out about and I thought it was interesting so I just wanted to maybe get some practice in just recording talking and this had to do with with the question I had when I was working on my computer my laptop computer one day and I was I just noticed a strange sort of like vibration in my fingertips when I was running my fingers along the sides of the trackpad and I thought that's such a weird feel like it's such an out of blue out of the blue feeling that you're just like huh that's weird but it's not particularly painful and it's not you, you don't notice anything like bad happening right away so you're just like oh you know whatever um, but after this happened enough times where I noticed this and I was just so curious by this point because I didn't know what was causing it that I had to find out more and so that led me to a search and I found this post on I found this post on Apple's discussion forum from like 2007 and this IT professional is making this post talking about how they noticed this these mini micro vibrations when they're um, connected to power on their MacBook and so I thought about it and I realized that my MacBook did the same thing where it w when it when it wasn't connected to um, the power adapter it would not give off those vibrations but then when it was connected to the to my power adapter and charging it would so I was like, oh, okay, interesting. So we do have a similar problem. And then I looked even deeper, I dug even deeper, and I found that the reason why those those micro vibrations are taking place is that it's actually, they're not vibrations. They're actually micro sh microelectric shocks. They're like these really tiny shocks that are happening because the there's a leakage of the current that's coming from the charger wire that's running into the MacBook. And so because of that, it's going to be an issue because that electricity, that, that current has to go somewhere. And when you run your fingers along that surface on your laptop, your body is the path of least resistance. And the electrical currents want to go down the path of least resistance. So then they go through your body and then like, you know, hit the they you're the grounding you help ground the electrical current and so that was a really interesting thing to find and then I to go even further what's even more interesting is that this problem doesn't happen when you use the three pin plug for the um, power adapter and I was like why does that happen and the reason why the leaking current occurs in the first place is because the charger that that normally comes with the MacBooks that's the two pin that one isn't grounded and because it's not grounded so it's so they say it's going to result in this leaky current situation but if you use the three pin plug you get the uh, grounding uh, grounded wire and because it's grounded you won't get the micro vibrations when you use that charger instead so then my question became okay so that this is grounded this is not grounded so then what what does it mean to be grounded like i have no idea what that means really so i looked into it and i found out and i finally understood after all these years of noticing it like i didn't know but i should have and now i know but the third pin in the three uh, in the three pin plug is actually the ground so it's like the earth it's the grounding thing and what that does is that it it helps act like a safety measure um, between your electrical devices and the electrical supply that when you plug it into the outlet and so by design it's structured thicker than the other two um, other two pins in the in the plug and it's like it's usually like a round thing like I don't know, in the US it's the round thing and then the two flats um, but what that does is that because it's longer and it's also thicker it um, it ensures that the first thing to connect with the electrical supply is the ground and then it also ensures that when you're disconnecting the last thing to um, disconnect is the 
ground. And then I like looked into it uh, as to why the pin, like why the grounding works the way it does. And the purpose of the ground is that it it increases the the thickness of the conductor and therefore the cross-sectional area of the conductor increases and according to the law of resistivity the higher the uh, cross-sectional area or the thicker the conductor the lower the resistance it has so the better it is at conducting electrical current and so because of that 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 ground sort of works like that it's pretty cool